Final question, looking at the challenge one. We've got a little bit of a mixture of everything. So we've got our fractions, we've got our indices, and we've thrown some thirds in as well. So looking at our first bracket, dealing with our indices and our bracket first, we should know that when we see a squared, what that means is this bracket times by itself. So if we rewrite that out, it's going to look like 4 plus root 18 over 2 multiplied by 4 plus root 18 over 2. So that's what it's going to look like. We're going to times this fraction by this fraction. Um, when we're multiplying fractions, we need to do the top times the top and the bottom times the bottom. So we can't just... It's not just as simple as multiplying the top of this by the top of that because we've got two elements to each part. <clears throat> so what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to form some brackets and then expand them. So it's going to look like 4 plus root 18. So that's this bit here. That's this bit here we have just taken here. And we're just going to multiply it by this bit here. So it looks like that, plus root 18, because we need to times them together. So we basically just need to expand our double brackets. So 4 times 4, 16. 4 times root 18 is 4 root 18. Root 18 times 4 again is 4 root 18 again. And then root 18 times root 18 is just 18. And if we simplify all that down, we can do 16 plus 18, which will give us 34. Four root 18s plus another four root 18s is going to give us eight root 18. And this is going to form the top part of our fraction. So we've got 34 plus eight root 18 all over. And then just 2 times 2 is 4. So that has dealt with our indice there, our squared. And then we've still got to take our fraction away from this fraction here. So now if I take this part and I bring it just beneath like so. So I'll do it in a different colour just so we know we're going to on, onto a new stage. So we've got 34 plus 8 root 18 all over 4, take away 2 minus 4, root 81, all over 3. <clears throat> and now we just need to take them away. So we're going to treat it exactly the same as any other style fraction when we're taken away. So we need to find our common denominator. So we're going to times our current denominators together. So 4 times 3 is 12 so we're going to have 12 on the bottom just like that what do we have to times our 4 by we had to times it by 3 what did we have to times our 3 by we had to times it by 4 so now we need to do the same to both of our top rows so we need to do 34 times 3 is going to give us 102 plus 8 times 3, which is going to give us 24. And then our root 18 stays the same for now. Then we've got 2 times 4 is 8. Minus 4 times 4 is minus 16. And our root 81 stays the same. So now we've got our denominators the same. We need to think about how we can add them together. We can't add them together just yet because our thirds haven't been simplified down yet. And they may be the key to help us add them together. So, grab another bit of paper because we're going to need some more space. If I move this up, so we're going to continue just below like that. So again, I'll swap colours, I'll swap to 
red again. So we're going to simplify down our indices and see what we're going to end up with. So if we take our root 18, we can simplify that down into root 2, root 9. And then our root 9 can become 3, so that leaves us with 3 root 2. So we need to take our simplified third and replace it with our root 18. So that is going to give us, once we've got focus back, there we go, 102 plus 24 times our 3 which will give us 72 and then root 2 from there all over 12 still and then we're going to simplify down our root 81 which we should know is just 9 so all we're essentially going to do is 9 because root 81 is just 9 times our 16 so we're going to have take away our 8 minus 16 times 9 which we know to be 144 all over 12 we can work this bit out so again we'll carry on went off the page there so 8 minus 144 so the 144 came from our root 9 our root 81 sorry which is just 9 times 16 so 16 times 9 gives us 144 all over 12 If we then work out this fraction here, because this can be simplified down, over 12, take away 8 minus 144 is going to give us minus 136 over 12. And now you'll notice we've got a minus minus. So we've got 102 plus 72 root 2 over 12 minus minus 136 so because we've got these two minuses we can turn them into a plus so that is going to turn into 102 plus 72 root 2 over 12 plus 136 over 12 which when we or work that out we're just going to do 102 plus 136 to give us 238 72 root 2 plus nothing is just going to give us plus 72 root 2 and we're still going to have our 12 on the bottom and that is your answer now we could simplify that down a little bit more but just focus on getting to this stage because that's a lot of working out that we've done. It's almost two pages of working out. We've got this bit and we've got all of this. So just don't worry about simplifying it down. If you want to simplify it down, go for it. But just getting to the answer that way is more than enough. Okay, so I'll put the answer back up for you to have a look at there.